So, the first one on our list is this cabin right here. Let's walk up to it. I gotta figure out how to get a nice shot for the um, screenshot. The sun is right behind these cabins. I'm thinking probably the main house. But here we go, there you go. Take a look. Around the back, don't need to go around there because there's nothing special. But here's the inside of the place. We got a nest of some kind going on up there. Looks like an eagle, <laughs> but <laughs> who knows, right? Uh, here we are. Floors are rotted like they always are. There's a screen door that'll do no good whatsoever. Okay, that's that place. Now let's go over here. This, I believe I can go around to the back if I don't trip over something and kill myself in the meantime. Okay, well, here's the back of this one. Here we go. Yeah, corrugated tin. Here's the area where we're at. Beautiful countryside, though. I mean, it really is. So, go here. Okay. I'll probably go in that one. Yeah, I think I will. Let's go in that one. It's better to go around the back, I think. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a little better back here. Go in this door. Look at that old door. Okay. I can't go back much further because there's just a whole lot of sh shrubbery. Um, so, go in here. Uh, yeah. Pretty trashed, but it's still a bit of history. So, Okay, we'll go to the next one. And like I say with all these places, you gotta watch out for the nails. And the snakes. Let's see. Pardon my stumbling, but these places haven't been walked through in quite some time. So there's a lot of brush. Okay, this is kind of nice. Let's do it this way. Maybe I can get a good shot. Um, I know I'll try it later, but here's the front. The sun is right behind us, so again, it's going to be a problem, but we'll just live with it, right? Okay, there you go. Now, these places are pretty well trashed. I mean, there's not much left of them. Okay, let's go on this way. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, at the end of this day, I'm going to be ready to call today. Okay, got an old refrigerator over there. I'm going to have to go look at that. It's an antique. Okay, so here's that house I was just in. There's no back door on this one, so we'll have to go in the front. Let's see. Well, I'm going to stay out of this one. Looks like there's a... Uh, Pretty much a, not much of a floor left, but you can see the back of it 
bullet holes everywhere. There's the roof, the rafters. Okay. Huh. Okay. Had to, to take a chance on it. I saw something that looks. Okay, I see what it is. Okay. So let's go back out. Okay. Yeah, you see there was quite a hole there. But I saw something that looked interesting. It was simply a uh, a broken bottle. This one I'm not going to walk into either. Or walk into. I did walk into the other one after all. But this place seems to be mostly corrugated metal. I don't know where the door is. Maybe it's on the other side. But the other houses are in really bad shape. Okay, let's go. And there might be an entrance back here. So. Nope. Okay. So I don't know where the entrance is to this one. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Here's the other house. This is the last house of this row. So let's go walking in here and okay this is pretty decent um it's not as trashed as the other ones are but This must have been the bathroom. And we got a, a room right here. This place is riddled with bullet holes. All right, let's keep going. Gotta figure out how to get over to the next one without stepping on a nail. Let's see. Okay, this one is completely trashed. So what I'll do is I'll shoot this one from here. As you can see, there is nothing left of this one. Okay, cool. Okay, there you go. Again, the town is called Knickerbocker. You'll see the name of it posted. So let's go to this big house now. Oh, first. I want to look at this up here. There seems to be some refrigeration type appliances up here. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Well, now this is nice. The doors are missing, but it looks pretty old. I would say this looks like from the 1930s, maybe 1940s. It's called a Tyler. So, as I say with all mine, if you know what this stuff is, please feel free to share it with us. This appears to be on the same lines, but the doors are missing. See right here. So, civilization did exist up here. And they existed quite nicely, apparently. And I think they had electricity. Okay, so now this is the back of that trashed out, and here's the back of the other ones. I really hope I'm not going too fast, but I don't know, I probably am. I'm getting tired. I'm getting ready for a good meal. Matter of fact, when Joe and I leave here, we're going to go somewhere and have a, have a decent dinner. I think we earned it. Right, Joe? I earned nothing. You earn nothing, but you take it anyway, right? <laughs>
Okay, now we're going to go over here. Um, this house proved to be a bit more interesting than either one of us had expected. When we walked in, we felt like we were being watched. So I turned on my spirit communication device. Now I got no cell service out here and the phone I'm using has no cell service anyway. And I was asking questions and I got some pretty immediate responses that were very applicable to the questions. It appears as though there's two people in this building still named Roger and Doris. Um, Doris told us uh, she was a lady. And uh, of course, a lady means she's got class. So let's walk on in here. The whole place is uh, corrugated, which this looks like it was like a front porch or something where they came to, to relax. So anyway, I got communication with two spirits in this building. Very nice. They seem to be like very nice people. And they were, they decided, see a lot of people think that spirits only come out at night. And that is incorrect. Spirits come out any time of the day, whenever they want to do it. It's just at night, it's a little spookier. But trust me, they come out during the day as well. Joe and I got evidence of that right here. We both felt the presence and like we were being watched. And sure enough, I believe it was Doris who said outright, watching. So that's cool. I love stuff like that. Okay. We have a view out the window. There we go. Now we're not going to go over that way. I, I just, I'm ready to end the day. I'm done. Okay, here's a newspaper. I wish I could find a date. Wouldn't that be cool? It's old type. Let's see. Send for catalog. I don't know. There's newspaper on here. But I don't see this. I don't see any dates. So, oh well. What about over here? Thursday. Oh, Thursday. God, I can't get a, a year. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay. Just keep walking. So, yeah. Uh, it turned out rather interesting in here. The two people we met, Doris and Roger. Very nice people. Very nice people. They talked to us a little bit. Um, very polite. So this is the main house, I'm thinking. Of course, I don't know for sure. But another room. Roof is caving in. But I'll say for the most part, these floors are still pretty solid. Here's the living room. And the floor. And the roof. Two bedrooms? I think so. And this is the kitchen. And I guess they had an outdoor dining area probably for those warm evenings you know like right here or they might have stored wood here who knows but now i gotta see if i can find a good screenshot so um i don't know where to go for that exactly so bear with me 
I'm thinking probably a good screenshot would be this roll because the house I can't get far enough away to get anything and this the sun's not in the way so we're just going to do it just like this and I'm going to use this as a screenshot just like that now let me zoom in just like that and that's going to have to be my screenshot let's see if I can get uh, get a better one I'd like to get more less of an angle and more of the of the buildings okay I think that's that would be good okay well I think that's it um, my buddy Joe seems to have disappeared I don't know where he is he's around here somewhere but I think that's going to do it um, I'm not going to get video as we leave because it's just a really bad road and we're both having to watch for washouts and deep the gullies. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see him now. He took a walk on down around the corner. But I think this is going to do it for uh, Knickerbocker. Pretty neat place. Enjoyed the visit. The trip was unbelievable. Uh, Joe did a great job getting up here. I'm very thankful to him. And I'm going to go buy him dinner. Uh, he wanted just a hamburger, but we're going to go somewhere decent to eat. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour and a little bit of uh, something, something about the ghosts because uh, we did make a contact here and it was, it was cool. Joe was standing right there and his eyes kind of lit up to it as well. So that's cool. Again, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour and um, man, I'll see you on the next one.